This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thanks for choosing News 4. I'm Corey Stark. Here are the stories making headlines. St. Louis City and County, as well as St. Charles County, all released Halloween guidelines today. St. Louis County has designated activities green for safe, there's yellow for caution, and red for high risk. Door-to-door -door trick or treating falls into the high risk category. In the city of St. Louis, only those who live in the same house are advised to trick or treat together. You're also asked to stay six feet away from others. St. Charles County is also asking trick or treaters to wear masks at all times. Also, travel in groups with your immediate family only. Here are the latest case numbers in the by state. Missouri reports almost 1,800 new cases today. The state is nearing the 100,000, 130,000 case mark. There have been 2100 COVID-19 related deaths in Illinois. There were more than 2100 new cases reported today. Overall, the state has reported just over 296,000 cases of the coronavirus and nearly 8700 deaths. St. Louis police have their hands on hundreds of pieces of stolen property and they want to help reunite this stuff with the rightful owners. They found hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stolen items after a months long investigation in South City. Besides drugs, they found everything from stolen computers to construction equipment. Police believe thieves stole these items during multiple incidents. They've arrested one person so far. Let's take a quick look at your 41 forecast. Corey, what a fantastic Thursday. High temperature this afternoon was 68 degrees. There was a breeze blowing into the evening. The breeze diminishes. Any cloud cover that you compiled during the day goes away. But we've got to get you ready for the wake up weather tomorrow morning. This is going to be the coldest air of the season so far with a low in St. Louis at 44. We're not talking about records. The record low tomorrow morning, October 2nd, is 32, but a normal low would be 54. So we're running about 10 degrees cooler than normal in St. Louis. Now, when you get that cold in the city, some of the outskirts, especially the rural areas, the low spots, they're going to be in the 30s. I don't think we'll see much in the way of widespread frost, but Litchfield at 39, just an example. It's been, gosh, 146 days since we've been as cold as 44 in St. Louis. Tough to rebound when you start that cold, but we'll try under a partly cloudy sky tomorrow up to about 62. It's been breezy the last couple of days. That's a non-factor in your Friday. Really, all things considered, if you don't mind a taste of autumn, Friday's a great day. Let me get you up to speed on the weekend rain chance because I've changed the timing just a little bit. I was thinking evening into overnight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Now it could be as early as maybe just past lunchtime in St. Louis, but it doesn't look widespread, doesn't look organized, and it doesn't look heavy. Just be advised there is about a 30% chance of a passing shower from Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning. That means Sunday's going to be a little cooler with a high only in the lower 60s, but Corey, the pendulum swings the other way by the middle of next week, and we are close to 80 by Wednesday. Matt, thank you very much. That's your news for update. Remember that we're always on at KMOV.com and your KMOV News app.